What's happening, YouTube? It is uh, Saturday, release Saturday, and uh, just got home from work. It is 10 after 11 at night. I'm at the crib right now, just put on a flick. I'm watching a badass flick, old school. Um, these dudes are cutting their wrists right now, trying to get a little bit of blood because they're about to make a blood oath. You know when you and your boys are straight legit when you are cutting up your arms to try to be blood brothers. Check that shit out. It's mean, ain't it? This flick is John Carpenter's Assault on Precinct 13. Classic. John Carpenter, of course, dude that made Halloween, makes classic movies. He's really known for his soundtracks. Check that out. They're making like a little blood soup, John. Anyway, West Los Angeles. Alright, that's the movie I'm watching right now. We're not, we don't have any music playing. I'm trying something new here. I'm all about movies, people. As you can see, I'm a big movie person. So, I'm either watching YouTube vids on kicks or uh, watching movies or, or reading. I do read a lot. So, uh, anyway, I need help, people. Um, in your opinion, do you go yellow? Hmm. Hmm. Or do you go original gangster, OG Bobby Johnson, black with the uh, lace tip? So let me know in the comment box below. That would be really cool. Um, I'm really stuck with this one, guys. Usually I'm a lace changing dude. Uh, I have a whole box full of laces that I, I dip into. Usually I try to be different. Um, but this one I'm kind of up in the air about, so I'm not sure with this. So, uh, if you can let me know, that'd be real dope. And, uh, yeah, thanks. Um, alright. Now, everybody knows what today is. Everybody knows what shoe is in this box. Um, and, uh, I wasn't going to make a video because it's really irrelevant at this point. I mean, it's late at night. But I got a little funny story about the, 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 the mall t this morning. And, you know, anyway... I woke up early uh, before I went to work and I ran over to the uh, the neighborhood Foot Locker, and um, it was funny because in my uh, in the mall in Philly, um, Franklin Mills, a um, couple of the sneaker stores that usually has them didn't have them like uh, Finish Line and uh, Foot Action. Like they didn't have them. They were like, "Nah, we didn't get them." I'm like, "What? Is it an exclusive type release or something like that?" And they were like, "Nah, we just didn't get them." So. Uh, I ended up going to a different mall, the Chamonix Mall. It's up in the uh, Burbs of Philly. And um, their foot uh, action didn't have them. And uh, their Foot Locker did. But they only had a couple pairs. And in uh, big dog sizes, uh, which I wear, 11 and a half, 12, 11, they only had like three pairs, one of each size. So they opened at nine. Anyway, long story short, I, me and dude walked in at the same time, another, another cat. And he also wore an 11 and a half. But they had an 11. And because these shoes run big, this is a... Oh, this is a different box. Oh, yeah, that's my replacement box because these shoes are old and stinking. These are 2006 fives. As you can see, I got the old plastic bag in there from when they were fresh. Now it just kind of hangs out in there because they're not fresh anymore so they don't get bagged. Plus, I'm not trying to bag my kicks anymore. Found out that that might not be the best thing for them. But, um, yeah, you guys all know about this shoe. 3M Tongue. You get the netting on the side. I actually keep these in pretty good condition. Um, even though they are kind of like beaters. I mean, they're pretty much beaters. I got uh, shoe trees in there right now to keep the creasing out because everybody knows creasing on these bad boys are crazy. First time you wear them, they're creased. You get, you can't do nothing about it, man. That's what kind of toe is on these shoes. It is what it is. But uh, the dude that got into the store ahead of me um, got the last 11 and a half. And I was feeling kind of bad because these are a little bit big. I mean, I could double sock it and rock it, but I don't like doing that. And um, for these right here, like I said, I put uh, force fields in there. And uh, it kind of takes up a little bit of room, so it is what it is. But... I told the dude bring me out the 11. Lo and behold, they fit perfect. And these shoes smell so nice. Of 
course, everybody out there that buys a lot of shoes, you know that your room starts to smell like that. You know, your, your closet, when you open it up, starts to smell like that. Gotta love it. Love the factory lace. I don't really feel them new, snick, new stickers they put in there. It's kind of a waste, if you ask me. No point. I think they did that so when they're putting the shoes back in the boxes, it makes it easier so they don't have to check the tags. Because I'm sure they sell a lot of pairs with, uh, you know, wrong sizes, people trying them on, and people returning things in the wrong size. So I think that's for them and not for us, people at the stores. Uh, anyway, um, yeah. I don't have to really get into this shoe, guys. Um, you guys have all pretty much, you know, done reviews on them, and I've watched a ton of reviews on them before I bought them to make my decision. Five is one of my favorite shoes, so I knew I was going to get it. Um, I wish there was a solid color right here breaking up these two, but it is what it is, man. It's going to be yellow as crazy, you know, but what, I'm going to wear these. Um, these aren't going to be like uh, a statue in my room. Um, I'm not going to make these into a Jordan Shrine and, like, collect dust. And I'm not going to sell them in 15 years, nothing like that. These are going to be going on my feet, so they don't need to be too pretty on the bottom. Lace lock. You get the gray lace. I'll probably take that out. Um, speckled shark tooth. Real nice material. Um, I didn't see any glue marks. Um, minimal glue marking. Which is not bad for a Jordan these days. Anyway, people, that's the shoe of the day. Everybody got it. I'm not going to go all crazy with the review. Besides, I just got home from work. And I'm trying to chill. But please leave me information about yellow or black. Um, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow, black and yellow. Yeah, whichever one you like, please. That would be great. And, um, yeah, until next time. Uh, they just look nice, don't they? Anyway, thanks for watching. This is Michael Crispy Coil. On another video, next time, I'll be happy. Be having more shoes coming in, you know what I mean? Big shout out to everybody out there doing their thing. Um, you know, the list goes on. I'm not going to get into shout outs today, but uh, yeah, thank you very much. Let me just sit back and watch my movie here. Gotta love 70s movies, you know what I mean? 80s movies. Nothing better. Alright, people. Peace.